Last night could have been called the clash of the billionaires. Here is Michael Bloomberg on Donald Trump. I built a business, and I didn't start it with a million-dollar check from my father. Donald Trump has left behind a well-documented record of bankruptcies and thousands of lawsuits and angry stockholders and contractors who feel cheated and disillusioned customers who feel they've been ripped off. I'm a New Yorker, and I know a con when I see one. He says he wants to deport 11 million undocumented people, but he seems to have no problem in hiring. What I miss here, Hillary Clinton is not flawless, no candidate is, but she is the right choice. Another media mogul is with me now, Steve Forbes, CEO of Forbes Media. Steve, to what extent, wonderful to see you, by the way, nice to see I'm all you. pumped up about this. What extent do Michael Bloomberg's comments hurt Donald Trump in his reputation of being a businessman? Uh, this is the most important speech given last night, even though Barack Obama hit it out of the park. The thing that they have to appeal to are independents and Republicans who still have a reluctance of supporting Donald Trump. So Bloomberg, even though he wouldn't win the rhetorical award, and even though he didn't fully praise Hillary Clinton, that gave him credibility to say, I don't think you should support Donald Trump. He is worse than Hillary. And that's going to be the theme of the campaign. They had no, they can't run on Obama's record. They have to try to tear down Donald Trump. And Bloomberg was the big first salvo. He, to he do even that. took some jeers from the crowd from the Texas delegation of stop <clears throat> and frisk, stop and frisk, which is a policy that he had backed up with the New York City police commissioner when he was mayor that was very unpopular and among that's progressives. Why, and, and that's liberals. why, even though he didn't get the cheers last night that a speaker normally would, Sound bites for independents, that's what's going to appeal to them. He that's was appealing point, he was appealing to a wider audience than the one he was facing last night. Yeah, that's a very good point. Uh, another uh, billionaire, real estate, private equity investor, founder of Colony Capital, Tom Barrick spoke at the RNC last week. He also joined us on TV. Here's a comment he made, and I'd like to get your take. This election is, is about the man not really the messenger and that since I'm friends with Donald I can talk about his personal attributes and, and what I see in the person and most importantly that I can take issue with him and that this is not about negatives I have nothing negative to say about Hillary because the attributes that Donald brings and the change says it all on its own so the election is about status quo versus disruption so there's another independent voice, right? Like, I'm not going to trash Hillary Clinton. All I'm going to tell you is that Donald Trump will change things. Well, that's what the Trump campaign has to do is neutralize or at least uh, somewhat neutralize the attacks. Because he said at the end, it's about status quo versus change. Uh, Hillary's real problem, we'll see how well she handles it tonight. Can she portray that she'll change economic course instead of what we have today? Can she make the world truly safer? And that's uh, going to be a huge challenge. So, yes, they're going to go after Trump. He's got to counterattack, and that's where he's got to raise the money. He's got to have those surrogates, a stable of surrogates, to go out there and do it, master social media beyond just Twitter. And uh, then he has got a real shot to win. It's really his election to lose. He's yeah. got the tools there, potential tools to do the job. And as Carl Rove just said, he felt like last night's message essentially was President Obama saying, if you like what's going on, vote for Hillary Clinton. That's going to be that don't like what's going on. Yes, and that's uh, what 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 she has she has a difficult problem. She's got to uh, secure the base of her party. We see the huge job that she has with that. That's why she embraced Obama. And she also though has to appeal to independents and uh, disaffected Republicans by saying there will be a better four years than what we've had in the last eight years. How do you square that circle? We'll see if her skills match those of her husband, Bill Clinton. Yeah, that's a pretty high bar. You built a global media brand. What do you think of the coverage? Do you think that both candidates are getting fair coverage? Well, what, what, what's amazing is the lack of discussion, and I hope Trump puts out a new tax plan to get it back on the economy, back on health care, real issues that affect real people. Uh, people, you know, you go to the hospital, you, you, you feel things are out of control. Who's in charge here? And they haven't really spoken to that. So let's get away from the personalities and on substance. Get away from personality and theor theoretical kind of hypotheticals and, and get to but, some details. But real solutions. All right, Steve Forbes.
Great to have you here as always. Nice to see Take you, Deirdre. Care. Thank you.